Johan, we're here on the, the track you call home. How much hard work and sweat has have you, you gone through here? Over, over the years, this is the track. This is where the 300 meter start. I remember me and you saying running a 300 meter time trial and it was, and it was impeccable. All the vomiting, all, all, all the hard work we have done here. So it's been great. And how much work or how well is the work going just now with the summer ahead? I would say um, the work is going perfect. You know, it's right where um, I want it to be. Um, you know, I'm trusting the process. I'm feeling good. I'm working 708 billion percent behind the scene, you know, to just come out here and get that individual gold medal at the Olympics. Do you think you're going to surprise the world again? I know I'm going to. I don't think. I know I'm going to. And the past couple of years have been hard for you. Um, how difficult has it been to be on the sidelines as, as, the, as the event goes on? It's been tough, you know, and um, I think I've, I have made some wrong move um, with my training, but no, um, I think I'm in the right frame of mind. Um, I would say nothing happened before it's time, and I think this is the time. Have you made many changes at the moment? I've made many changes. I've changed my diet to a carnivore. I've made scientific changes to my body, you know, um, I've been recovering even better and I've been sleeping a lot better. <laughs> and what, what do you think makes you a contender? What do you think, you know, puts you, puts you in control? What I want to do is just to be, remain under, under the radar. I want, when I'm on the line and I make it to the finals, everyone is not looking at me. But after, everyone will be surprised. Yeah, and what do you make of what Noah Lyles has, has done? And, you know, what he's trying to do for the sport as well? What do you to Caesar, you give to Caesar. And uh, I'm saying the sports need that, and he's doing that, and, I'm, and I don't have no problem. I want him to keep doing it and enjoy what he's doing, and change the sports. What's work for you, work for you. Yeah, and we're obviously in, in Jamaica, where so many great sprinters have come from. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a culture. What, what kind of lessons do you think the sport can learn from what you guys have achieved, and you know, what's the sort of the, the ingredients that go Poverty, into it? Poverty, hard work, knowing the fact that we. This is our livelihood. This is what we use to get ourselves to the next level, to eat food. And having five of the fastest mandem in the world here is a plus.